The Rays are headed into Cleveland to kick off a three-game set against the Tribe. Joe Gavazzi is here with us again to share his picks for this first game. Now, the Indians come into this game as a massive minus 170 home favorite behind Carrasco tonight. Only question is, why? Don't really know. He's got an ERA over five at home and less impressive whip. Now, Carnes, on the other hand, is having a pretty good year on the road, but what strikes me is his .88 road whip on the season. Only four starts, I grant you, but I'm still going to side with him and the Rays in this matchup tonight just based on that. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Matt. This is a good spot based on the inverted home road dichotomy of the starters, but there's so much more to it as well. Cleveland was expected to be a winning team this year, approaching 90 wins, but they've struggled to get to the 500 mark. You know, it's been even worse in the month of June where their batting is down to the point where they're averaging less than three runs a game this month. Clear advantage with the Rays in that aspect. And we haven't even begun to touch on the inverted home road dichotomy, which makes this a road warrior play. When I say road warrior play, I mean we're back in the Tampa Bay Rays, who have the highest winning percentage of any Major League Baseball team on the road, going 19-11 for the year, 9-2 recently. Big road warrior play on the Rays at a price, you know, I really don't understand. You pointed out the 088 road whip for Carnes. That is truly an indicator, as we've proven time and again, that any road pitcher with a road whip of 110 or less is a 75% play. Got to look at Carnes in this one at this big dog price against the Cleveland team struggling to reach their potential. Tampa Bay, the winning play in this one, they're way better than Cleveland. All right, Joe, totally agree with you on this one. The Rays, I think I'm all over this play. Great whip, great road, uh, winning percentage. Guys, get on this tonight. Thanks, Joe, for talking to us. We'll catch up with you and all you guys on Monday.